Energy transformations. Energy can be transformed from one form into another. For example, it can be transformed from kinetic energy of the wind into kinetic energy of the wind turbine, then into electrical energy, and then into sound energy of the speakers at your home. The law of conservation of energy states energy cannot be created or destroyed. The quantity of energy in the universe is constant. The total energy stays the same in the isolated system. Let's have a look at this video. Let's see what this man is going to do. a lovely spot somewhere near the river the dog is enjoying his time on a swing physicists also say that the dog is gaining potential energy as he is swinging higher and he is losing potential energy as he is swinging lower. Note that the dog is moving at different speed. He is gaining kinetic energy when his speed increases and he is losing kinetic energy when he slows down. The dog also loses some of his energy due to air resistance. A small amount of energy is transferred into the kinetic energy of the molecules of the air. The dog is gaining some energy when the man pushes the swings. The kinetic energy, the energy associated with the movement of any object. It can be determined that kinetic energy depends on the mass and speed of the object. Stored energy is called potential energy. All objects with mass near the Earth's surface are attracted toward the center of the Earth. The higher above the surface of the Earth the object is, the more gravitational potential energy the object has. Gravitational potential energy exists because of the gravitational attraction of masses towards each other. In our discussion, we are going to ignore the air resistance and assume that the total energy is made of kinetic and potential energy of the object. We assume that air resistance in this case is so small that it is negligible Keep in mind that the amount of total energy stays the same in the isolated system. In this task we are going to use a string instead of a swing and a little ball instead of a dog. Really sorry but we are not allowed to use pets. Once the string is attached we move the ball to one side and let it go. The ball will swing from side to side. There are two forces acting on the ball. Note that the weight force starts at the center of the ball and acts as a downward force towards the center of the earth. The tension force is the force that the string exerts on the ball. The tension force starts at the point where the string is attached to the ball. If you just let the ball go without pushing, then the initial velocity of the ball is equal to zero. Let's define the height as zero at the lowest point. The maximum height is measured as 20 centimeters, or 0 0.2 meters. The potential gravitational energy of the ball can be calculated using a simple formula. Energy equals mass times g times height. g is an acceleration due to gravity. 
it is a constant value at our planet Earth. G value approximately equals to 10. At the maximum height, the potential energy equals to 0 0.08 joules. The kinetic energy equals to 0 as the initial speed of the ball is 0. At the lowest point, the potential energy equals to zero. We can find the values of potential energies at different locations, as we can measure the height of the ball. The potential energy is the same for the same heights. The amount of total energy of the ball is the sum of kinetic and potential energy, as we ignore a resistance. The ball and the string make up an isolated system. The total energy can be found as the total of kinetic and potential energy combined. At the start, the total energy equals to 0 0.08 joules. The total energy should be the same at any point. Therefore, at the lowest point, the kinetic energy equals to 0 0.08 joules, as potential energy is zero. Using a simple formula for kinetic energy, we can even find the velocity of the ball at this point. It is 2 meters per second. The kinetic energy is equal to 0 0.06 joules at other two locations. The total energy stays the same. Total energy value is 0 0.08 joules. If we take the air resistance in account, then the total energy will slowly become smaller and smaller until the pendulum stops to swing. Here is a task for you to complete. We would like you to watch the following two videos and describe what you noticed using the concepts that we talked about in this presentation. I'll show this video one more time. And here's the second video. hope you notice the difference. I'll show the second video one more time. You also need to sketch a diagram showing forces acting on a ball and a resultant force. Explain the difference between the two experiments using concepts of energy transformations. You need to use the following terminology in your explanation potential energy, kinetic energy, total energy, a resistance. Imagine that you explain it to someone who is not familiar with physics concepts. Find and describe a real-life ex example to explain physics concepts of energy transformation to your friend. If you would like to create your own audio explanation, you can use a Jink program. Your work has to be uploaded online into Forum Energy Transformations. Don't hesitate to contact your teacher if you need any assistance. Here's a few uh, further resources that you can use um, to find real-life examples of energy transformations. We hope you enjoy watching these videos.